but you need to actually start using Git now. I wanna see how you'd save your work. So Git actually thinks about your work in three places. Now, the first of which is your working folder. Now, this is just your project folder on your laptop, on your disk. Now, the second place is the staging area, and this is Git's short list of the changes that we have picked up for the next save. Now, when you say, I want this in my next commit, you are talking about the staging area here, which is what we're in. And the third place is the commit history. So this is the list of the snap snapshots that Git has already locked in. Each commit is just one of those snapshots. All right, show me this in your code base. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this readme file here. I'm just gonna say, hi, you are cool. Now after that's done, I'm just gonna save this and then in the terminal, I'm gonna write git status. So now git status is actually showing two files here that have changed. So what I'm gonna do is go git add and then read me. So we wanna add those changes so we can do that. And now if I go git status, You'll see that my changes here, which is changes to be committed, the readme file is now included and changes not staged for commit is the package lock JSON. So the readme file is in the staging area and the package lock JSON is in the working area. Now I also wanna stage the package lock JSON. So what I can do is just go git add space and then dot. So with all three files staged, I can run a command like this, git commit dash m and the dash m just means message and then you're going to have an apostrophe and now you can actually type in your message this is a chore that we've done we're going to update dependencies and tutorial readme so here you can see two files are changed 12 insertions 10 deletions and now we can run git status again and you will find that there is nothing to commit anymore